Hey, hey, everyone, this is Etho, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Uh, we're going to have some fun to start off with today because I finally did it. I finished shaping or sculpting uh, processing islands. So get ready. Here's the grand reveal. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> That's what we're going to go with, this thing here. Uh, Turned out a little different than I was expecting, but I really like it. I think it's going to look awesome once we get the grass and everything done. And and uh, smooth out the corners and all that like we usually do. You will notice, if you remember, I had a big chunk of land over there before, and that's gone now. Uh, I called it the second core, and I ripped that out. Because they weren't really connecting together too well, I felt. So, rather than... Continuing and not being happy with it, I decided to take a filler and I just deleted the whole second section and I continued adding on to this one and just added a lot more detail to it and it turned out pretty good, I would say. I like it. Lots of space to work on too when it's done. It's a big island. I think it's bigger than that one. I might even like it more, I'm not sure. I really like how this one looks from <laughs> the angle I always show over here. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try uh, smooth out the stuff right now. We'll hopefully do a montage with background music of me uh, blasting it away because i got to take my mining laser and just shoot this thing to death basically uh, with the explosion setting. This time, though, I get to use the advanced le electric jetpack, and this mining laser gets recharged from that. If you look at the top left, my energy level goes down, so it drains power from this as I use it. So I can hopefully get this done a lot easier. I even made a second one just to make things easier on myself, and uh, as long as I don't drain the battery while I'm flying, I won't fall. <laughs> like, i got to be careful goes down to zero my energy level I'm just gonna plummet to the, <laughs> the ground there so I'll have to keep an eye on my energy level but anyway here is the montage assuming it works so I hope you enjoy <laughs>
Oh, check it out. It is done, and it is fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Tremendous, even, you might say, because it is tremendous. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's, it looks good. I like it a lot. It has a lot of character to it. Uh, I was able to smooth stuff out pretty well, I would say. Where it counts, anyway. Um, let's just kind of fly around it. We get an idea of what it looks like from different angles. Most of the angles actually looks really good because there's there's a lot of like diagonal areas to it. It's not like straight on, which is important. Um, tried to round like the columns out as as good as I could too. And this is cool. Check this out. I I decided just to punch a hole. Uh, through the ground right here so that we got like a little cave that goes down and it makes you go to the spiral and you can actually walk through this whole thing it's nice and nice and smooth uh, everything's just a one block uh, rise in it there's no like cliff to it which is really cool so we might even want to uh, put the quarry train through here well, I guess there's a cliff here I'll have to smooth out some more uh, we could have a quarry train that connects to the island like at the tip there and then comes around and you can watch it go up and and then it will like dock somewhere up here and and drop off the items it gets from the quarry and, and then go back I think that would be pretty cool and it's fairly close to the ground like at this level here so it wouldn't look too bad if we connected uh, a track to this I don't think uh, I'm, I'm not going to use these elevator tracks anymore. I decided they're they're a pain <laughs> uh, to sum it up. They're they're a pain. I've seen some people show me how how to do it a little more s correctly, but it's bulky. Like I have to put uh, like stuff in front of the tracks to make sure the trains don't get loose or anything like that, uh, which bulks up the thing quite a bit. But overall, they've been just a challenge for me so I'm not gonna do that anymore uh, so now what I gotta do I gotta put the grass on this and that's gonna look really good having multiple layers of grass is the ticket to <laughs> a good looks for the islands because it makes uh, places where you see the grass makes it really pop and uh, if, you, if you have multiple layers like you know your eyes kind of focus there and then over there, which is which is good. Um, so I think this is going to look really neat because there's so much vertical height to it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go through, uh, put the grass down, and we will see how it looks. Oh, it's Chocolate Island! <laughs> Check it out. That's awesome. Uh, that that's like a barrel of of soil, like unbelievable amount of surface area or ground ground area whatever uh, and it took me over an hour to do but uh, yeah I'm gonna get the grass in now also I'm gonna do the overhang look so uh, the way that's gonna work is I gotta like put the dirt one block below the level above I think is the way I'll do it oops that way it'll look like the grass is hanging over the edge, you know. Well, it turns out I don't have a silk touch pick around anywhere. I think I may have lost my last one in that rail line explosion the other day. So, I only had 10 grass blocks laying around and I have to see the whole island with those 10 grass blocks. So it's going to take a while uh, until I get another pick or or we might just wait it out, I don't know. Uh, actually, we'll probably just leave the island uh, at where it is today, and we'll work on it some more another day. Although, like, the island itself is pretty much done, but uh, uh, next we get to build the machines and stuff on it, which will be fun. Things like this. <laughs> Did that even work? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> So we get to build a few cool things on this island. Uh, this is going to get moved over. This is for processing our ores, and we'll set something up for that. Uh, we will need, 
as this looking right now at the oil situation what we need to do with that so there's two types of oil blocks you can get oil sands and crude oil uh, oil sands you can get oil from it uh, with a centrifuge pretty easy two will give you one cell um, but this crude oil block thing uh, the stone type you get this sludge from it uh, and then you take this and you have to shapeless craft it which is a little challenging you take five of those put it in a bucket and gives you this sludge bucket then you take that uh, put in an extractor and we get an oil bucket and then you take an oil bucket and you can put it in a liquid um, hmm <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to turn it into liquid oil that we can use. Now I'm worried. Kind of thought. Well, anyway, uh, even using a dispenser, we could place it on the ground somehow. So there's definitely ways of getting it into pipes and that. Oh. There goes the cart. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to do that. We, we're going to do biomass setup. Uh, and to do that, we're going to make a, a distill, I believe. Not this. This does work, and I have one of these set up at the moment, but it's not as efficient as... It's not there anymore. Oh, these. Oops. Not those. Biomass cell. Yeah, distillation tower. This thing is insanely expensive, but it has a, a 1 to 2 ratio where we can get this biodiesel or biofuel. So we're going to set one of those up and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it should be pretty cool once we get to it. And then the only other really important island we have to build is Power Island, which will be a lot smaller because most power generation stuff doesn't need a lot of space. Uh, so that'll be okay. So this is probably going to be the biggest island I build, actually. And the grass is spreading pretty quick. Cool, cool. Okay, well, what should we do for the rest of this episode? Mm. I've always wanted to go to the Twilight. I've been twice. <laughs> Only twice. Both times, Badge escorted me, too. Uh, I'm kind of scared to go there, because... I know a few people have gotten stuck there, and I don't really understand why, so I'm worried it's going to happen to me, <laughs> and I'll have to get someone to help me out, but we'll try it out. We'll go there. Uh, so I'm going to get a portal together, and we'll just take a look at at the area around. It's spreading pretty good. It's almost done, actually. All right, but anyway, I got my stuff together. We're going to go check out Twilight real quick. Uh, let's build the portal. Uh, we'll do it down here. Just a temporary one till we build Portal Island. And I think the way you do it, you need water. Guess I could have just placed two, right? <laughs> anyway, that works. Oh. Um. Ah. Having trouble with clicking things. Okay, here we go. I think you can use saplings. This is the first twilight portal I've ever made. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Throw the diamond in. Whew. Now if that struck an island above, I would have been mad. <laughs> okay, so our location is about a hundred and a thousand. Where is that going to bring us on this end? I wonder. Twilight Arrival. 100, 1000. Oh, so it's one to one. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Good, I know how to get home. So the portal's right there. Look at this place. Crazy. And people always tell me to use a bed as soon as you get in. 
Okay. Lots of bugs on that tree. <laughs> A little Stonehenge thing. I've honestly, like, haven't seen anything here. Well, what is this? I'm guessing most, like, bosses and stuff have been beaten by now. In fact, I think I saw... They conquered this, like, on the second or third day on the server. Like a wor worm boss or something. Huh. Well, let's go explore a little bit. There's lots of these little houses. Uh, I know in the past... Oh, we got the spawner there still. I've seen these guys before. They take a long time to spawn. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> uh, make sure I don't get lost. Where are we going? Okay. It's mushrooms. Oh, this is what I want. We need lots of this stuff. I'm going to snag these. Oh, there's lots here. This is awesome. Nobody else wants them. <laughs> I'll take them. Oh. Wonder how it compares to normal world generation for ore. Uh, I'm almost tempted just to go straight down to check. Let's just go over here. I'm also sort of hunting for new trees. I don't know if any of these trees are good for saplings. Uh, but if there's one that produces a lot of saplings, we might want to use that instead of the one we are using for the, the tree farm. I think we're using a rainforest tree at the moment. There's bats here at least. Not all that different. Oh, this place has that. Is that the silver? No, that's a aluminum, isn't it? Yeah. They changed this. You can actually get or use it with... Uh, oh! <laughs> you can use it with Thomcraft stuff now. You get metal from it. Ooh, I'll take those and I'll take... Yeah... Oh, more steel. Saddles are always good. Copper. Very nice. Very nice. We are at, like, level 14. So we're pretty low down. There's not that many shards around. Oh, it's one of those guys. How much do they hit for? One heart? Oh, and they die with one hit. <laughs> with my sword. Bedrock? What? Oh, this is a... This is a maze. And I don't think it's been explored, even. Huh. Can't, can't break it. <laughs> There's a lot of them around. Wow. They must be above... Gotta keep my eye on my jetpack too. If it runs out, I gotta go. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Does the mining laser work on these blocks? Like, can I just blast through them? Oh, more shard. I gotta collect lots of these things. Oh, it does work. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's easy. Are they? They must be in this bedrock area. Yeah, it gets louder as I get lower. Okay, let's try to find that. There's the way down. <laughs> it's a creeper. Oh! <laughs> that was 
was awesome. We need more mobs in in normal Minecraft, guys. Like, there's quite a few as it is, but oh, there's there's lots of room for expansion though. Like, some of these guys are pretty crazy. I'm glad I can fly. Dead ends. Oh. Ooh, that actually hurt kind of. No. No. Surprised nobody explored this considering how close it is to spawn. Like it's only a thousand blocks away from zero zero. <laughs> this place is Oh <laughs> This place is making me nervous. Um What can I change this to? Let's go long range. We'll use it as a Whoa! What's going on with my jetpack? It's going crazy. I don't know what that bug does, but it's big. I should have grabbed some of that. Oh, what is that guy? Some of that ambrosia would have been nice for here. Let me break it, please. Ironwood. I've never gotten this stuff. Golden apple. I'll take it. Those are just regular sticks, right? Yeah. Over here. So this is the bottom layer, I'm assuming. I wonder if there's something special down here. Your lava. Gotta make some more torches. <laughs> this is like totally opposite to what I normally do in Minecraft. It's a nice change. I kind of wish I... I should have brought somebody with me because I don't feel very safe. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die any moment. And I got all my good stuff with me, which has me a little worried. Dead ends. Mushrooms. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Shoots fire and drops gunpowder. Wonder how much. Ah, just normal amount. Oh. So is there creep? There's gotta be creeper spawners, right? Because I see. I've seen quite a few already. Sure, get through this quick with these boots on. Ah, he got me. No. Oh no! Stay away! Stay away! Oh, I'm a dead man. Oh no. That stuff is gone. <laughs> that stuff is gone. I am not gonna find that again. Oh, that marks my death. Dang. This was <laughs> this was a mistake. I should have brought somebody with me. Oh well. That's cool. It marks it with a beacon too. Hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even go to this. I should leave and go get some gear and try to get it back. Oh. A lot of mobs around. So I don't even know how to get down there. We kind of found a different way in. Yeah. Mm. There's a portal here. Whose is this? Oh no, this is Pyro's place. Oh wait. No, this is what uh this is the one Doc made, so this is right by my home. Okay, I'm going to get some stuff, I guess, and try to survive to get my other stuff. Okay, guys, not all hope is lost. I have a plan. Uh, I know the position, roughly, so even if I lost my mark, 
because I died here. <laughs> if I lost my mark, I think I can still find it. I have a mining laser. Hopefully, I can just dig straight down with that. And I have, most importantly, invisibility potions. So hopefully, the mobs will ignore me, and I can just walk in, grab my stuff, and get out. Uh, that's the plan. <laughs> Got to be quick, though. So I think we lost a minute already. Gonna drink these already. Yeah, I don't see that beacon anymore. So I wrote down 234. 234 and 805. This way. And right here. So straight down. Oh. <laughs> Oh, not bedrock. Why bedrock? Dang! Ah, oh, there just had to be bedrock. I'm not gonna find it, am I? This might have been where I was. This looks familiar to me. Me and mazes, though. We are not a good combo. And it goes up. Or no. Could have been someone else too. Where, where was it? I didn't even get that far, and I can't find what I'm looking for. Oh, quarry! Oh, this is somebody else is doing. Darn! We have to find the way down through the bedrock, otherwise it won't let us go. Oh, that. Stinking. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. Not like this. No. Yeah, that would have killed me if I didn't have the ambrosia. Oh, how did I get down? Could be anywhere. I am very low on time. <laughs> I feel like I've been through the whole maze. If I knew how to read this place better, I could just look at the mini map. But I don't understand it. I don't think. I'm kind of looking at it now. Oh, that's bad. Cave in. No ways down. Darn. Oh, yes! Get out of my face, world! <laughs> okay. What level is this? 11. This is the level we want. Which way did I go? I gotta get to 234. That's gonna be impossible to find again. 234 and 805. 234, 805. I'm so stinking close. No. Get out of here, world. <laughs> 234. 805. 805 is this way. Ouch. And he sees me. No. Gotta be kidding me. Invisibility does nothing. That is disappointing. Oh, nuts. That's the mushroom room right there. That's where we gotta go. And are you kidding? Get out of my face. No, this isn't where we need to go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I was in the sky! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, that's it, guys. I don't think I can get it back, and I think it despawned by then. So, sad way to end the episode, but we got a lot done today. I'll have to remake my armor and stuff again, which is going to take me a, a bit of time, I hate to say. But that's the nature of the game. I do have a looting three book again, so I'm not too sad about my sword, but that was a good sword, I gotta say. But, uh, yep. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.